falling, wanna catch them, but I can't get What's life with no problems, wanna know what you think Through hard times and decent times, there's no good time for me I've been carved out so hollow, just like my piggy bank I'm Hard to love and hard to find, that's how I survive In a Honda with no AC and a crook smile on my face I What's up you guys, Jay Joseph here and I will be reviewing the Nike SB Air Force 2 Rivals Collection Pack. With this one, <laughs> it's a pretty sick shoe honestly from just like first glance at it. This, this is really thought out um, and I think it's just a really bold step for Nike SB in general. They are taking the foam posit material from the Nike foam posits and tossing it all over this SB Air Force 2. So if you guys remember what the Air Force 2 looks like or if you guys have even seen the Nike SB Air Force 2 It's really a just throwback model of some Air Forces that are now a skate shoe I believe they had a skate shoe in the past as well, but because I don't completely know I'm not up to date I'm just gonna say it's a throwback of the original Air Force 2 into a skate model and This shoe is featuring this foam posit material about 90 to 95 percent of this whole entire shoe all the way around until the toe here, which is a pretty tough suede up top here. I could feel it from just rubbing my finger on it. And then you have a mesh tongue. So with this shoe, pretty special things going on. If you have skated a Nike SB Dunk or if you skated the Air Force models for Nike SB, then you know that over here, you do have this extra piece right here to put your laces behind if you feel you go through laces a lot on the Dunks, on the Air Forces, so you do have that option with here. I personally, I'm not gonna do I'm gonna leave it how I got it. Um, going around this shoe, you do have perforation holes right by the check here on this foam posit material to give it a little bit more breathability. I know if you're skating this during the winter, it'd probably be a little bit better than skating it in heat. We're gonna figure that out either way, depending on when I start skating them. Um, this tongue, this mesh tongue is super padded. It's not like your thinly padded tongues nowadays that's going on. You do have some thick padding on this tongue and it's pretty sick. Going on to the collar lining of the shoe, the collar lining is also pretty thick padded and mesh material and they threw a little mesh tab towards the back along this little like pull tab for putting on your shoes. The sole of this shoe is pretty standard for, you know, Nike basketball, whatever. You do have your average like dunk sole with a little bit of different treading on the outer layer over here. Got some straight treading over here for extra grip. Got the round for control. Got this piece for just long lasting. That's what I think it is personally. And it's also inverted so you don't hurt the ball of your foot as much, which is pretty sick. Over here, you do also have these three little squares that are pushed up to help with arch support. So good thinking there. And then you do have a little bit of this like midsole material so you could feel the squishiness of the midsole. So it will help with impact protection of this cup sole shoe. On the heel tab, it's just your standard straight line treading with a little bit of creases to help with the movability of the shoe when you break it in. Once again, this is a cup sole shoe by Nike, but that does not stop Nike from throwing in a little bit of extra protection with the Nike Zoom Air unit. Though this is a pretty thinly padded looking insole, it's a little thin on the toes, still have a little thickness to it, but it's a thinly looking padded insole. You do have the Nike Air unit, which is fairly thick on the heel of the shoe to prevent some heel bruise. Doesn't mean it won't happen, but it will try its best to prevent it, and it is pretty thick. It's a lot thicker than uh, most insoles I've tried with the heel tab or anything of like that so good going there it shouldn't be really too needed in these shoes being that it is a cup sole shoe and i've heard nike has done pretty pretty well with most of their cup sole shoes keeping it pretty impact protective and whatnot as you just saw the insole is removable it's not a double uh padded or double layered uh outsole being that it is a cup sole outsole so it should last pretty long that's about it. This shoe actually weighs pretty light. I know I had a couple comments before on uh, past shoe reviews on like the kilos. Is it kilos? 
just a weight of most of these shoes. I don't know what they were going by for most of these measurements, but I'm gonna go on ahead and start adding this into most of my shoe reviews. These are a pretty lightweight shoe. It doesn't feel as heavy as you would expect most Dunks or most Air Forces to feel, being that it does look bulky, but that's about it. Um, that's about it going on with this shoe. Not much to say. But, you know, the design speaks for itself. It's this foam posit material. This is pretty new for skateboarding, in my personal opinion, feeling this, like, slippery type feeling, like, material on your shoes. And what's different to me is it feels slippery, and it leaves me a little bit conflicted on how it will perform. But at the same time, I feel like as grip tape would hit this, it would perform like your everyday leather. So we're going to check this out in the future. I'm going to have another shoe review up to you guys, and we're going to do a little poll and see which shoe would get reviewed first and skated first between this guy and the following shoe coming up. So stay tuned for that shoe coming very, very soon. Uh, hope you guys like this review and got a little bit of information, if any at all, from the shoe. I know there wasn't too much to be said because this shoe's design speaks for itself. Um, that's about it you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next shoe review So then you guys can get the overall choice of what I'll be skating next on my Instagram and on my YouTube I'll be going through both posts and I will catch you guys later Peace